Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, PHP sessions. Uh, HTTP is a stateless protocol. When uh, a browser makes a subsequent request, uh, the web server has no way to associate the current request with previous request. Uh, keeping track of users as they move around uh, a website is known as session tracking. Uh, sessions allow the uh, PHP script to store data on the web server and can be later used even between requests uh, different PHP pages. So we got to keep that in mind whenever you send a request to the server when the request is back with the response uh, server doesn't know anything about the client and client doesn't know anything about the server. Session ends when the user closes the browser or whenever serv uh, web server deletes the session information or whenever we as a programmer destroy the session in our uh, PHP code. Uh, session is uh, a super global variable like any other super global variable. It starts with the dollar sign underscore and uppercase uh, name session. Uh, also session like get and post is an associative array. Uh, just to refresh your memory about the associative array, uh, uh, associative array in PHP are arrays uh, that has a string index as key, which points to a value. Uh, so in order to create a session, what we have to do is we've got to use the super global session variable. Uh, we have to have the key or the name or the index for the session. It's like creating a variable in PHP. In this way, uh, in here I call this test. And then you have to assign a value to this. We'll say this is test content, right? Now, uh, creating a session at this moment would not do anything because we need to inform PHP about uh, creation of this session. Uh, now, uh, in order to do that, we have to use a function called session start that tells PHP we want to start using session. By doing this, uh, what happens is, uh, as soon as the request goes to the server, uh, PHP will create a file with a unique ID and store the information of the session into uh, that file, which is in a special folder. Now, in order to see where this is saved, uh, I'm using VAMP. Uh, I just want to go ahead and uh, show you this. So I go ahead and use PHP info function. And uh, if I just refresh my page and uh, So PHP info shows all the information in PHP INI. If I just go ahead and look for session, uh, I believe is session save path. It tells me where these sessions are saved. Uh, I'm using VAMP, so if I go here to see VAMP temp, uh, this file is right now is the one that is created by the session. Let me just uh, go ahead and refresh this page one more time uh, and open my session uncommon my session variable uh, let me just bring this up here and I will uh, remove the PHP info because we don't need it we already got where the file is saved so let's go ahead and refresh this page here you go as soon as I save this you can see that the page has been created inside the temp folder let's open this see what we have in there uh, is the name of the session and the value that we store in that session. Now, uh, if I want to access this session and print the value, uh, simply I can go ahead and access the uh, uh, global variable session and uh, put the key or the name of that variable. In this case, is test. And uh, if I refresh the page, simply you can see the content is there. Now, uh, any other page. Uh, from here any other page under the same domain as long as the browser is open if I go to I can access this session variable modify this session variable as well too so I just go ahead and uh, paste the session and start at the beginning because this is very important to have this otherwise I cannot access the session uh, and uh, then I simply go ahead and uh, print the session variable uh, test in here so I'm on PHP uh, f2.php let me just hit enter here as you can see 
uh, the value is the same, right? Now, creation of the session is as simple as you saw it. Now, sometimes you want to delete the session. Like, let's say if you want to do logout or you want to do something in that extent or in that uh, similarity, uh, in order to delete a session, simply uh, you can use the onset uh, function. Uh, remember the body set, so we have onset. Uh, so, can you simply go ahead and uh, add the session name that you want to delete? Uh, remember, uh, it's better to not do onset on the whole session because it, it, it generates an unexpected result sometimes. Uh, so, in this case, if I go here right now, refresh this page, session it is exists. So, I'm for the very first time I see this, but as soon as it gets to this line, it already uh, removed the session. Uh, there is nothing in that uh, folder anymore. Let me just go ahead and show you this. So, if I go to MAMP, VAMP, uh, TEMP. Here is so if I just open this right now there is nothing in that file you see that because I use the onset so if I refresh this page uh, it says undefined index there are some other ways to delete this session as well onset is one if I want to delete the whole session I can simply go ahead and uh, say uh, uh, session destroy uh, is one uh, one way to do this session destroy allows us uh, to delete the whole session so everything in the session is gone after running this uh, function there is one more way to uh, destroy the session as well uh, this one is called session on set uh, which removes uh, all the variables in a session uh, so this one just removes all the variable in the session and the other one just remove or destroy the whole session. Thank you.